Hi, this is Laura Hartwig from WP Decoder with another tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about creating a slideshow with Beaver Builder. Um, Beaver Builder is a page builder. The page builder version of Beaver Builder that I'm using is actually paid. It's called the standard version. Uh, you can get a free version, but the slideshow is not an option with that. So just a qualification there that this is the paid version that I'm going to be talking about. Also, I want to be clear that we're going to be doing a slideshow, which is just a bunch of pictures that rotate, not a slider that has text or content included, not what you would see at the top of some website home pages. This is just going to be a slideshow of images. So, um, so let's get started. So. I've already got um, the Beaver Builder editor pulled up here, and I'm going to use the plus button to bring up my different options, and you will see slideshow right down here. I'm going to grab it and drop it right in the middle where I want to create my slideshow. And the first thing I'm going to do is I can either choose my images from the media library uh, or Smug Mug. Uh, I have them in my media library. Um, so, or of course you couldn't add photos from your computer. I've already added photos uh, from pexels.com and I'm just gonna select them now and add those to my gallery. Um, of course, if you wanna add more pictures to your gallery, you can always do that. I can change the order of images in my gallery. I can caption engine, uh, sorry, images in my gallery. Uh, I want to do that. So once you've got that all set, you're going to use this update gallery button. And you can see I have um, three photos selected. At any time I can go back and add more photos, get rid of photos, um, or change the photos. Now, don't forget this um, tool, this pop-up toolbox here. You can move it wherever you want on the screen because that helps you see that I've got this slideshow already showing me how it's going to look in the background, which is really nice. If you want to do more customization, you have the choice of changing the height. We can change that down to 400, either by adding the numbers there or by doing that um, doing this drag uh, option here. So you can see when I put it down to 400, it did get smaller. I'm gonna put it back at 500. We'll just go 510. You can see it gets a lot uh, larger there. There's other options of skin color cropping, disable, right click, things like that, but um, they're not really that important. <laughs> the other thing that I wanna talk about is controls. Right now you can see that it has these arrows. So do you want, um, navigation arrows, yes or no. Do you want a nav bar? Do you want thumbnails? So you can do thumbnails at the bottom and you can see these little thumbnails coming in here and you can change the size of those. Um, all kinds of all kinds of options that you can see here. But that is the main thing that you need to know about putting slideshows in. Uh, be sure to save it once you're done. You can see that was simple. We added those in just a couple minutes and you're all set. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and if you have questions, uh, always feel free to hit me up uh, through the contact page at wpdecoder.com. Thanks so much.